Hey guys, welcome back to the Dragon Quest Heroes play. Why did you focus on Elena? Of course you focused on Elena. <laughs> oh man, look at Kiro, so sexy. Look at that blue hair. Oh yeah, so hot. Anyway, Please do not be ogling, servant of goddess. Anyway, uh, Isla does not have as defined of a butt as I would have expected. Turn the camera sideways. Hold on. Yeah, it's hard to tell with her with her. Yeah, she's dress actually thing. rather modestly dressed. Yeah. All things considered. Really? Like, so, compared to Jessica, honestly. So anyway, between uh, <laughs> between parts, uh, we re-equipped some stuff. Uh, and the We also did a little bit of alchemy. The most important thing that we got was this beckoning bell, which we believe uh, makes it so that you get aggro. Um, and it was pretty awesome. Oh, you can... You can look at the models up in oh, detail. Look at Yangus in detail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so sexy. Oh, look at that ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... And uh, we changed... So Ted has his group of characters. Um, and, yeah, we did the equipment shuffle. So the characters Ted will be using have good equipment. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> oh, Kirill's, Kirill's getting through to her. That's so good. What do you got to say? Oh. <laughs> Ouch! Eight is getting. <laughs> oh, look at look at Xan here trying to to hit on the hot redhead. I thought you said he had a relationship with strategy. Uh, I don't know. Whatever joke. What am I doing? You ask. Swallowing, of course. Okay. I bet you know all about that. <laughs> obvious joke is obvious. Oh man, we can we can <laughs> uh, we can make really good uh, screen caps of that. Okay. Wait, talk to Terry. Do I have and to? get the barrels behind Terry. Okay, I'm getting the barrels first. Why are you ignoring me, pal? You think barrels are cooler than me? Yes, everything is cooler than you, Terry. Butterfly wing. Terry, did you put that there? No! <laughs> Why would I put a butterfly wing there anyways? Okay, so anyway, um... Since I doubt any of the rest of these loot... Oh, well, I guess we could talk to the king. Yep. He has something yes. to say. Actually reminds me of mushrooms. Like mushrooms, uh, their spores like grow underground ridiculously far. Wow. Yeah. Like I'm more referring to you know wild mushrooms as opposed to like cultivated mushrooms um, because yeah. cultivated mushrooms obviously are more controlled. But that's why like mushrooms will just sprout in forests after a rainfall because the the roots of the mushroom. Uh, I forget what they're called. They have a special word. They're not technically roots. Yeah, because uh, mushrooms are like a really kind of weird type of plant. If I remember, they're not correctly. plants. They're they're yeah. in the kingdom fungi as yeah. opposed to plantae. But they like they they act completely differently than almost any other yeah. type of organism. They're really cool. They're really like just. Oh. So then, why don't you like Mario? Start the mission. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the chamber of danger. Okay. I really think we're gonna be getting a new character soon. Okay. Hopefully that's true, because um, that'd be really cool to get new characters. And I am actually really interested to... Oh, yep, we're definitely getting new characters. Oh, and we're getting those characters. What the appropriate music? Yeah. DQ5's battle theme is, pro is still the best main battle theme in the series. To me. It's amazing. I haven't listened to all... Oh, upskirt shot. So anyway... These are our waifus, and I'm not just saying that to be condescending. They, like, actually, you can get married to, to so, them. So, okay, they both say we have someone special. So I think there's two ways of seeing this. Also, I love how Nair attacks with the power of sparkles. Like <laughs> the first way is that Nera married Crispin, and Bianca either married the hero or... Um, well, actually, either of them could have married the hero because both of them get married. If no, you don't. B Bianca doesn't no, get married. No, Bianca marries some guy in Roundback. I don't know. I don't think he gets. Yes. She gets married. Yeah, I, she does. She marries some jobber. No, I've, I don't. I don't. I just played a Deborah playthrough. I don't think she gets married at all. She gets married. Uh, I. I. Anyways, or <laughs> I like to think it's like the school days good ending, where the two of them are simultaneously seeing the hero. And they're just, like, totally cool <laughs> with being in it. No, because they give each other looks and stuff. Because, like, if you, um, like, we'll, we'll see. Who did you say you were again? Well, they didn't. Pharaoh, I'm the daughter of the foreman of Gramet. Oh, look at, she's I cute, I guess. She's a dwarf girl. When I, um, bumped into some monsters. 
Wait, hold on. This is the casino theme. Oh yeah. No wait, no. This is the the fairy, the 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 overworld theme in the fairy place. Yes, you're right. Yep. Now that you say it, you're right. Yeah. No, you're not. You're from Roundback. Oh, why are they more important than everyone? <laughs> See, they both traveled. Anyway, hmm. they're totally two time. They're totally dating the hero together. Then what about Deborah? I don't know. She didn't come along. Deborah would get along well with Terry. She would whip him into shape. I don't think she'd think he's worthy, honestly. Maybe. Oh man, she's so motherly. Oh shut up! <laughs> We've got good characters here, Terry. Go away. Oh, that means you get to play Bianca before I get to play Nera. I mean, I gotta play Angus before you gotta play Jessica. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, that's why I think that, like, the look that she gave her, that's why I'm thinking that this is, like, before you're supposed to marry them, I guess. And, like, it's kind of like either of them could get married to the hero. Maybe. That's a good point. That's a good way of thinking about it. I mean, this is all non-canon, so it doesn't really matter, but... But they've definitely met up because Bianca has Saber. Yeah, that's true. Like, maybe, like, this all happened when, like, the, the, the hero was asleep trying to th p think of which one to pick. And then just, like, in the middle of the night, they just wandered into another world. Oh, childhood friends. Aww. Oh, she's embarrassed. See? The, it, the, the game here is implying that Bianca should be your waifu almost as much as Dragon Quest V implies that yeah. Bianca should be your waifu. So for those of you, since Ted's playing this mission, I'll just say briefly, uh, for those of you who haven't played Dragon Quest V, you, you're the main character. Aw, oh, the Dragon Quest V battle music. Um, Alright, so this is a defend mission. Yeah. Um, Oh, this is a weird map. Huh. Um, you have to You have to pick between one of either two or three wives, depending on whether you play the original game or the remake. Um, and in the original, your two choices were Bianca and Nera. And in very many ways, the game wanted you to pick Bianca, uh, the blonde girl, as your wife, because she's your childhood friend. You have a lot of cute adventures with her when you're a kid. Um, and yeah, it's just imply it's implied that Nera is in love with somebody else. And apparently in the original version of the game, there was actually text that suggested that uh, Nera didn't like you very much, or at least didn't love you if you married her. Yeah. And Nera also could only level up to 10 in the original. You might want to go check on Yeah, that's what I was planning to okay, do right cool. now. <laughs> um, yeah, Nera... Oh, they've got Bianca and Nero to defend them. Yeah, okay. but so, still, yeah, you know. there's no mock keepers to go after. Well, wait, there's there's one. Yeah, no, that's no, there's a, a saber. saber cat. You gotta watch out for those the the imps because yeah, they they have ranged attacks and they use them a lot. Um, yeah, so the Nero could only get up to level ten, and Bianca, you know, and all the other characters really, except for certain monsters, they could get up to the standard level ninety nine. So Nero was. In intended to be basically useless in actual combat. Which makes sense, but... Given her character, yes. I'm glad they changed it for the remakes, though, because like, that was kind of mean. You know, if you marry Nera because you think that's what you're supposed to do, like, out of a sense of duty, and then you're shackled with this pretty much useless Yeah, they, I like that they changed it in the... They imply that they like that, like, she she makes googly eyes at you, and she think you think... Uh, she thinks you're cute. A little bit, so it's... Oh, God, I gotta take care of this. Like, she says, you know, she's, like, not really... 
into the whole idea of an arranged marriage, but she's like, oh, but maybe. But you're, if, but for if it you, it's just like, and she says, like, I've always, no, no, I can't say that. That's too forward for me, uh, yeah, precious yeah. Japanese girl. So, <laughs> I will do what my father asked me to. But yeah, so I, I've only played Dragon Quest V once. Oh, um. Um, I've only played it once, and I married Bianca, uh, because I honestly wanted to. Oh, that's that's one of Nera's attacks. The yeah, the, bubble. the bubbles, which are bizarre. Uh, Santanko. <laughs> uh, Ted has played Dragon Quest V three times, yeah. and married all three of the wives. Yeah, and I'm I'm like I'm 95 sure that Bianca does not get married because she's just sitting. Because you go to her in the victory tour, and she's just sitting in the house with uh, by herself. With her dad, so maybe it wasn't the original because I've heard she gets married. Um, well, there's a guy in the town that's like got a crush on her, but I don't think she ever gets married. Uh, hold on, let's go with. Oh, I didn't even notice what Nero was saying. Uh, oh, they're both getting married. Yeah, that makes it. So I think, I think Bianca with the hero and um, Nero with Crispin. Yeah, as he's called in the in yeah. the remake. I don't know what his original name was. Uh, I forget. I saw it somewhere, but I completely oh, forgot. I'm gonna ignore you guys. Five oh, oh, whoa! I'm dizzy. Oh, there is a maw keeper. Okay. Nope, it just appeared. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. Percy. Kitty's name's Percy. That's cute. Yeah. So the Bianca's uh, coup de gras attack. She summons a, a saber cat, which was, uh, which is, um... Yeah, but they the, actually named the saber cat. Per she says, go Percy instead of saber, which really? is his, Yeah, which is a, his official name. You can rename him, but... Yeah, you can, well, I don't know if you, if they let you pick any name for him, but apparently if you tell her, like, no, I don't like that name, she'll give you other name suggestions. And is it that those name suggestions come from the book she was reading? Yeah, they do. Okay. At the very least, like, yeah, I'm... I'm pretty sure they do okay we gotta go back because there's a golem, a golem oh. like right there but we did take care of one maw keeper before uh, good job Nara. you're like barely hitting him <laughs> that's weird those bubbles aren't really hitting him apparently the way she controls is weird oh okay fun oh cool somebody leveled up all right okay after i'm done with this i'm gonna Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, he's just, he's very hard to get a handle on, but. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it looked like he was trying to grope. Yeah, <laughs> guess would you please keep your hands to yourself? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Gov. Oh, wait, hold on a moment. There's some good stuff over here. Uh. Alright, I wanted to be Kiro. Sorry if not, did you see that? <laughs> One of those guys is named Benito. Bonito, the skeleton. Oh, another mock keeper. Okay, hold on a moment. We're gonna summon the skeleton over near the the defense, the, the target. Oh, well, actually, we should get rid of some of these monsters, because... Okay. Oh, did I kill the troll from all the way over here? Yeah, oh. I guess so. Awesome. Okay. Ooh, you got a troll medal. Now yeah. that, I, if I remember correctly, that's a savior. Yeah, so, so. It, it, you can, I'll use it to attack the next Maw Keeper. Yep. Or I could, you know, do that. Aw, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just always feel like I want to try, you know. Okay, wait. Oh, boy. Okay, he's close After enough this, that he'll be hit. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> it never gets old. <laughs> Oi! Keep
mirror over there. Why are you trying to quest track on me, eh? <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kill, you don't give me the fright of my life. Or if God knows was here, I'd have him put you in your place. Nara, do something. Oh. Throwing a bubble half-heartedly does not count. I love blowing bubbles. Okay, it's hold so on. much fun. Hold on, Hunter Mech, you're going down. Oh, look at how that was even Should stronger I than four your digits. I can't no, but tell. look at how quickly the Hunter Mech's attack went. Uh, health went down, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's. Okay, uh, hold on. Who's? What the heck? Okay, whatever. Skeleton. Um, oh wait, I'm getting turned around. It's Rebecca. A yeah. It's a confusing map for sure. Oh, she's moving. Oh, okay. Oh what? my gosh! What the crap, kid? Oh, she's moving towards the mock keeper. All really right. smart, kid. Okay. I can oh. think of a bunch of safer places that could sh could be right now. How's Isla feeling now that? You uh, better. She's okay. still uh kind of a support character, all things considered, but that's still fine. Okay. Hold on a moment. We need to. I was trying to get the... Okay. Okay. Where's Kirill? There you are. Uh, come on. <laughs> What's the troll doing? He's doing his dance, you know? <laughs> That's the troll dance. Stand on one leg. Uh, oh, I think... Uh, oh, Catherine got him. Yeah, I did. I really love that when you're not controlling Catherine, she's just, just freezing everything. Let's get a troll with a troll. <laughs> troll. I'm just thinking of, like, in um, Harry Potter. There's a troll, <laughs> troll in the dungeon! dungeon. <laughs> Thought you ought to know. Now, Elena was saying the Gigantes was merely obese. Yoi! I was thinking that Gigantes was obese, but this troll that we are fighting has not been taking care of his body. I shall put him You through actually charge it pretty quickly, the, the tension. See, look, it's going oh, yeah. up at a pretty decent... Kirill, stop polishing your spear. Uh, must pray to Goddess that... There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that has a lot of skeletons. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, a Hackasaurus! That's one of the. Hackasaurus! That's one of the cooler enemies from Dragon Quest VI. Oh yeah, and K Terry would know about it. There's actually a, a la rather large plot thing with Terry and a Hackasaurus. Does it have to do with his time in Monstars? No, in six. Oh, okay. I thought it had to do with the fact that Terry was in the first Monsters game. Yeah, it, although that's a prequel, because uh, Monsters 1 came out after. Hey, I'm not quaking, pal. I could beat that thing with one hand tied behind me. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I remember correctly, he actually couldn't really defeat the Hackasaurus as easily as he claims he did, because I'm pretty sure you had to fight him afterwards. But whatever. The Hackasaurus? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. Now I'm really getting going. Okay. Switch. Oh, it's oh they have resistances too. Really? Cause look, look at how much damage Swoosh is gonna do. It's not a lot. I was wondering where the Hackasaurus was come was from, because it was in one of the um Traveler's tablets. All right, that girl's being attacked. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. I was just in the middle of a of a tension thing. Yeah, okay. yeah. I was I was about to say I think Yangus would be a <laughs> just because Yangus is so yeah. good at crowd control. And also that. Yep. That's then they'll great. they'll stop. That's great for defense missions because suddenly yeah. they're not paying attention to whatever they were focusing on before. 
Oh, I think we were looking at a little girl, but uh, that guy's whistling. Let's skeleton dance over to him. Oh, oh crap! Jeez! Alright, that's just mean, man. Don't hit a little girl. Hit Terry! Hold on, I need a. I want a helm splitter it. How can you tell if it worked? Uh, you can see it's got like the, the darker color, and it's got that uh, kind of effect on it with the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's some kind of like color shading on the Hackasaurus. Yeah, I see what you mean now. It, it took okay, me a second to catch moment. it. That's a good one. Oh, that girl's going to die. Now, if I've got anything to do about it, because yeah. that's the last thing we gotta kill. Oh yeah, the, rest the remaining are, skeletons are gonna run away. They're like scragglers. Chumps. Or Bianca's gonna gonna job them. Bianca did look really fun to play though. Yeah. Apparently she has healing abilities too. Does she get? I don't remember. She got some healing in really? five. I can't remember. Like maybe minor healing. Yeah, I can't, it, it wasn't much because you were supposed to use the the player in the sun for healing. Wonder how old she is. It's kind of hard to tell with dwarves. Exactly. Because she has a betrothed, so I don't know if this is like a like an arranged marriage or if it's like she's supposed to be marrying age. She's so I like don't... six and she's getting married. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wedding? I want apple juice and I want I want cake. I mean, there's supposed to be cake at weddings, right? I want a lot of it. Just cake. Just a big old cake and cupcakes. <laughs> she's such a country girl. Hmm. Hey. They didn't. They don't. E the yeah. Oh, you were right. It was the night before the wedding, and I could hardly sleep for nerves. I decided to go on a short, short walk at home myself. So okay, they're they're keeping it deliberately ambiguous Who's as to who pissed. is getting married. There's just going to be a wedding. Watch, it's Deborah. <laughs> the hero no, the hero. The, no, they're gone for so long. The hero wakes up, and this is like. Oh, neither of them want to marry. And then Deborah's here. It's okay. Guess I wait. Okay, you're both about to get married too. Something like that, right, Bianca? Or yeah, no, the hero. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love how ambiguous this is. It's actually really interesting because it means whatever happened in DQ five for the the player is canon in this game. With that, with that said, now I can understand honestly why they didn't make the the DQ5 because I kept I said to Ted I think a really cool character from DQ5 would be to have the two children that join your party in DQ5 have them be a character together uh, but I can understand why if they come from before the children were born at okay. least in this game <laughs>